is the coldest weather I've been in a pretty long time. We have something pretty excited planned for today. If you guys didn't see the last video, we did a random overnight trip up here to the mountains. We're currently in Idlewild, California. This is pretty much like the woodsy, mountainy area where when it rains, it usually snows, as you can see by the little snow patch down there by the front door. As you can see, we have the 4x4 behind us, and today we are gonna experience our first time doing some off-roading, some trail riding. There are some awesome trails near the mountains around here, and we thought this would be a perfect excuse to start off our journey with the 4x4 and get it a little bit dirty. Now I'll be the first to say I have zero experience with off-roading or anything of trail riding at all. It's gonna be a learning process today, figuring out the different like ways you can lock the diff and when to engage 4x4 and all that stuff. And to be honest, the trails we're going on today aren't gonna be expert trails. They're pretty intermediate or pretty moderate style trails, but I just wanna have a good time and start off somewhere. As you can tell, I'm very excited about today. Let's go find this trail. And if you guys didn't see our last drop, Pun Company released a bunch of new items, including three t-shirts with these oversized vintage wash, three new sweatshirts, different colorways, with the BRZ, the Mark V Supra, and the CA Corvette. The front of the sweatshirts even have an embroidery on the front, and we have a special print on the back that allows us to get a super high quality print, and it will last, so it doesn't wear out after one or two washes. Links will be down below. Today, Sabrina's gonna be our co-pilot. I also think her dad, Big T, Wait, co-pilot? I wanna drive it. Come on, you gotta just let me. I wanna drive it. Okay, you can do it first, but then let me do it afterwards. I don't even know what the trail's gonna look like. I'm not sure really what to expect. Though. Okay, so for idiots like me who don't understand how this works, can you explain to me, like, what about this makes it so able to go off-road? Cause don't, like, what if this falls off? Or if someone tagged me and someone doing it in the snow and was like, dude, they're, you're gonna take off your front bumper, you're gonna take off the license plate. Like, I don't okay, understand. One, the over fenders aren't gonna fall off. I would worry about that. Okay, what about so these wheels? So I'm Thanks. not the biggest off-road guy in the world. I just said in the video. I'm not well, a professional. We're gonna have to Okay, learn. that's that's very clear. But this car is lifted from the factory, so you have great ground clearance. You have tons of capable suspension, dual shocks and stuff. But the biggest thing is you have portal axles, which allow us to get... Okay, all right. One of the best things about this place is the backyard is completely fenced in. So the dogs could just run like free wild animals. Well, as long as there's no bears or coyotes or lions or anything back here. I just came out to get something out of my backpack and I just noticed something. A prehistoric bird took a monumental crap on the car and all down the window. Oh. <laughs> well, if I was worried about keeping it clean and making it look nice, trust me, that made me lose all hope for trying to keep this car clean. I don't know what bird took a dump on it, but dude, that might, I mean, dude, my that's almost the size of my hand. I found this app called All Trails, and there's a pretty cool looking trail about 15 miles from us. It says it's closed during the winter, but I'm assuming they mean like when it's snowing. Hopefully it's not closed. We're gonna drive there, check it out, and hopefully it works out. And if not, we're gonna have to improvise and just find a road to go off-roading on. send it right off there. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna interrupt his video to say thank you to our sponsor, Pedal. Pedal is a credit card company that wants to help you succeed financially. That's why the Pedal One card is designed to help you build credit. When you apply for a Pedal One card, your banking history is used to instantly create you a cash score, which is really just a fancy way of saying it's a measure of your credit worthiness based on your income, your spendings, your savings, things like that. It can help you qualify for a better credit card even if you haven't had a credit history before. Their mobile app comes with a spending planner so you can help track your spending. They also have a tool that helps predict your interest in dollar amounts in case you plan on carrying a balance. And it also allows you to link other financial accounts to it so you can see everything in the same place at the same time. It is also partnered with the WebBank member FDIC which issues credit cards. As of today, the Pedal One variable APRs range from 19.99% to 29.49%. Start building your credit history today and go to pedalcard.com forward slash TJ Hunt. That's P-E-T-A-L-C-A-R-D dot com forward slash TJ Hunt. Thank you so much for Pedal for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. Yeah. Well, you could just send it right off there. Oh, whoa! I think it's somewhere. Oh, the trail looks open. 
Oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. Oh. You guys ever been on Indiana Jones? No. Yes, that's my favorite ride. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Apparently this trail goes for about seven miles. I don't really know what to expect, and I think maybe some people might walk it, so we have to be a little careful. Oh, look, bumps. As we, oh, big bumps. Oh, yep. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how far it goes. I don't really know where it leads to. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, yeah, she's real bumpy. And then imagine we get to the campsite and this is where we're camping because we got the tent on the top. <laughs> we got all the food, the mini fridge in the back with the portable stove top. That's gonna be so fun. I know. A couple yeah. of bear sticks. <laughs> <laughs> One time TJ and I were arguing, and you know again, you guys, I've talked about this before, how TJ will randomly just take phrases and like make them up himself. One time we were arguing about something and he goes, don't poke me with a bear stick right now. And I'm like, what? The I don't is think that's exactly what I said. <laughs> I think this is a little bit dramatized. No, no, that is exactly what happened. And I'm like, no, 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 babe. The phrase is don't poke a bear with a stick. He's like, no, you're poking me with a bear stick right now. Stop it. So now we all joke about bear sticks. No. No. Road closed during winter season to prevent road damage. So what are you doing? <laughs> I guess we'll just back out of here. I think there are other trails we can go down. Let's go just look at the view. Absolutely. We're only like 20 minutes in. We're not, we're not even halfway through the trail. I'm bummed. I bet you can't get up here. What do you, mean? you don't think I can get up here? Trips and falls. Trips and falls breaks my neck. Wow, it is pretty though. <laughs> oh, excuse me? <laughs> I thought I thought that was the sound of Big T taking Holy a spill in the background. I was like, no. You see bugs in there? It's their poop. It's their larvae. Where? Those little, those just, just little speckles. Ew. We're gonna make do with the situation we got. What? See that massively big hill right there that looks super dangerous? Sure, get I'm gonna climb it here. Take the camera. You're gonna climb it? You're not sending it. You gotta like your pedal to the metal and go. Maybe I can't make it. <laughs> Maybe I got a little confident. You could have definitely have made that. You may scratch the paint a little bit though. No, I don't know if I can fit through it. Maybe I can make I that? I think you can, but how are you gonna get out? I'll get out. See you. No, no, no. <laughs> Throw a snowball at him. Throw a snowball at him. <laughs> what? Throw a snowball at him. Send it fast! You better get out of the way, you're gonna get pummeled. We just wanna do you, you show that we just went around that gate? Yes. <laughs> we can keep going! No! We can keep going! No! Come on, I want you to send it. You're kind of driving like a pussy. Well, I'm in four-wheel drive, so I can only go so fast. Mm. Okay, I'll knock it out of four-wheel drive and I'll send it up that hill. He suspects nothing. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh.
It is really fun just to crawl around, but it's so good at what it does. It's sometimes it's like hard to like even feel like it did anything because it just crawls over everything so easily. Almost just fell. Well, we've pretty much explored all we can explore down here because they have that gate blocked off, even though we found a way to go around it. I really want to do a few camping trips and do like some really challenging trails and stuff and to see what this car is made of because this is just like a random trail we found that people go camping and we're just trying to have fun. But it makes me really excited to like think about what we could potentially do with this car and how far we could push it. Leave some suggestions down below places in California or even close to California that we could drive to and make some like cool camping videos. So we just pulled up to the gas station. You, you're gonna know what that is. I'm like, we're driving and I'm like, wait, is that a G-Wagon in front of us? Like a really old one? What is it? It's like an old one from, I don't know. It's like the early, it's like early 2000s, but it's like an overlanding setup. It's like an old guy so Todd's age like driving old, it. It's like an old, it's older than Todd. I'm going to look at it. Take the camera. I'm just going to ask if I can take a few photos with, with you this. You should. Do you mind if I take a couple photos of our car next to Todd? On it too. Portal actually. Yeah, Are come. You kidding me? Check it out. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, isn't that pretty awesome? Holy shit. Yeah, I just ordered my roof racks and just and all my tents oh, and all my extra stuff for it. Perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. You gotta get some different tires. Yeah, but this is 100% how it comes. That's yeah, it's pretty rad, huh? Uh -huh. That's awesome. He's never seen that car before. He was like, what the heck is this? I was like, "Has portal axles and everything. He's like, obviously he knows way more about overlanding than I do, but guy's super cool about it. <laughs> that was awesome. That was super cool. That's so cool. Dude, he loved it. He was I like- I heard him go, wait, holy sh he was like, that thing has portal axles on it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude. And he was super that's, cool. That's so cool. At first, he was like kind of standoffish. Like he didn't At really want to talk about it. And then I was you like, have the camera on for that? Kind At of. first, TJ goes, how long have you had this thing? And he's like, a couple of years. He's like, I don't know, a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, he didn't seem too interested, which is totally fine. But once he kind of looked at the car, he had caught his attention and then he warmed up a little bit. That's so cool. That was a really cool find. All right. <sighs> That was a lot of fun. I just posted a couple photos on Instagram of some of the photos that we just took while we were doing all that. And I'm getting a lot of comments of people like just ripping this car apart and talking kind of crap. And let me just say, I just got this car. People are commenting like, oh my God, so gross street tires. And oh my, you better not make that an overland car. I'm gonna have more fun with this car than I think any other car. And there is, there's stuff coming, just wait, be patient. But I just wanted to get out and use this car today. I've never done what I've done today. I just wanted to use it and have a good time and I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I guess probably in the world of off-roading or whatever you want to call it, that was maybe a little bit minor, but just know I'm a novice entering a world I know nothing about. Dude, I can't get over how big this crap is. Like, it's like green and stuff. It's like furry almost. And I get a lot of people keep saying, take off this like rear aluminum bar on the back. I could take it off, but technically it's illegal to take that off because this car is so tall. That is there. So if a car was to like hit me in the rear end, they don't get stuck underneath me. So like legally I can't take that off. And I don't think it looks ugly, but you could. It's just a couple like Torx bits and this whole thing comes off. I don't necessarily know if I want it off. I don't think it looks horrible. For being dirty, this car doesn't even really look that dirty anyway. Just got home after spending the whole entire weekend up in Idlewild. This car is so much fun. I know we barely scratched the surface of what this thing can actually do, and we really just scratched the surface of the content that we're gonna make with this thing. But I had an amazing time this weekend, and I hope that you guys did too. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, because if you guys enjoyed it, I'm just gonna wanna go and do this more and more. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace out, and keep moving forward.